Welcome, fellow spacefarers and nostalgia navigators. My name is Keith, and I'm with the Wired Nerdy Podcast, and we're back with a retro game review. Today, we're diving back into the early 90s to revisit a gem of the DOS era, Wing Commander Privateer. Released in 1993, this game offered a universe of opportunity and a hefty dose of freedom that almost all games of the same era struggled to match. So, strap in and prepare to warp back in time when space was pixelated and it was a frontier awaiting the brave and the bold. Developed by Origin Systems, the masterminds behind the Wing Commander series, Privateer took the space combat simulation genre to new heights. The game was crafted by a team of visionary developers, including Chris Roberts, who is known for his ambition to blend cinematic storytelling with interactive gameplay. Privateer stands out in the series by offering an open-ended gameplay experience, which was revolutionary at that time. In Privateer, you play as Grayson Burroughs, a freelance pilot navigating through the Gemini sector of space. Unlike its predecessors, which focus mainly on military campaigns, Privateer gave players the freedom to carve their own path as a trader, pilot, or mercenary. This freedom was its selling point. It allows you to interact with various factions, take on missions at your discretion, and trade a plethora of goods across the star systems. The game's universe was brimming with life and danger. From dodging asteroids to battling pirates and negotiating prices on space stations, every decision impacted your journey, and ultimately your survival. The economic system was dynamic. They had prices that would fluctuate on supply and demand, which added a surprisingly amount of variation in gameplay. For example, it provides variety to your grinding experience as you save up for a new ship or upgrades, especially if you choose to go the space trucker path route. Graphically, Privateer was a feast for the eyes in the era of DOS gaming. Utilizing the Origin FX engine, it offered detailed 2D sprites that simulated a 3D perspective and immerses the players in an expansive star system. The game was supposed to use a newer, real space engine, but delays in its development forced Privateer to use the prior engine from Wing Commander 1 and 2. In fact, the first game to use the newer space engine the real space engine, was called Strike Commander. It was being developed in parallel to this one, along with the new engine. But again, those delays prevented this game from taking advantage of it. The sound design has dynamic music scores and occasional radio chatter complemented by the lonely, often tense atmosphere of space travel. Origin released a speech add-on pack that added voice acting to all the character interactions, which was a nice touch. Wing Commander Privateer was not just a game. It was a doorway to a universe that players could truly make their own. Its legacy is seen in many modern space exploration games, which borrows heavily from its blend of space combat, trading, and narrative freedom. It's fair to say that Wing Commander paved the way for a niche genre within the space sim realm. It may not hold up graphically by today's high-definition world standards, but the sense of adventure and freedom it offers remains unparalleled. For those who wish to relive the days of trading and dogfighting in the vast expanse of space, or for newcomers just curious about the origins of open-world space games, Privateer is definitely worth taking a journey. Now, I must nod to a modern game that does not get nearly enough attention and is greatly underrated. It is a love letter to Wing Commander Privateer, that game is Rebel Outlaw Galaxy by Double Damage. While it's not set in the Wing Commander story universe, it is essentially the same game that has been modernized. If you love Privateer, you will love Outlaw Rebel Galaxy. It is one of my go-to comfort games, and I highly recommend it. So, there you have it. A slice of gaming history that reminds us that sometimes the most memorable adventures are the ones where we get to choose things for ourselves in an open-ended universe. Whether you're a trader, a fighter, a rogue, the Gemini sector has a place for you. So fire up your engines, and let's see where the stars take us next. 
Until next time, thank you everyone for listening. And if you like this contact, please subscribe to our channel and listen to our long form podcast, which takes place weekly, or check out some of our other retro game reviews. I'm Keith with the Wired Nerdy Podcast. Take care.